Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look here at our Saris Bones EX bike rack. This is a trunk mounted bike rack here on our 2018 Nissan Kicks. So if you want to carry around your bikes but you don't have a roof rack or you don't have a hitch on your kicks, this is the next best option. So this creates three mounting points for your bikes. This also fits over your spoiler as well as onto your hatch. You cannot open your hatch with this, but this does mean you can carry around multiple bikes. This has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. So if you do have your slightly heavier bikes, this may not be the best option for you. Also, if you have alternate frame bikes, like women's bike, children's bikes, or step-through bikes, they will be mounted at an angle unless you use a frame adapter bar. So I recommend taking a look at our frame adapter bar options if you have those types of frames on your bikes. I'm actually a really big fan of the Saris Bones design just because of all the little extra features they added to make it look better and work better. So one of those features is this anti-sway cradle. So notice how it's mounted one, two to, um, straps on our top tube and our third is this anti-sway and it greatly reduces that sway. You will still have to get a strap for your front wheel for to reduce that sway, but this is a really nice feature. This is also where you start when you want to take your bike off. So you press that lever and you just release that strap. So see how that with that strap release, how much sway there is now with that bike. And then we'll take our other straps out too. So press those levers, just take those straps out, leave them to the side. And from here, we can then lift our bike up through the arms and then we're ready for a bike ride. With the bike off, we get to take a closer look here at our cradles. So notice how we have these nice little rubber grips on the inside of our straps. This helps as you wrap it around your bike to just protect it from extra scuffs and scratches, but also to create a little bit of extra traction as you pull this shut. Now, when you do have your bikes off your bike rack, but you still want to keep it on your vehicle, I highly recommend um, putting these straps into their levers and pulling them tight. That way they're not flopping around as you drive around and this will help these straps last a little bit longer. So this is going to add a fair amount of length to your vehicle. So we're going to take some measurements here on our kicks measuring from our bumper to the end of the bike rack right over here. This sits at about 25 inches of length added to the back of your bumper on your kicks. Since your Nissan Kicks is on the smaller side or the more compact side when it comes to SUVs, that's nice, but it's still worth considering whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. Don't forget that you have a bike rack as well as bikes behind you. Now, I personally do not recommend keeping this trunk rack on your vehicle for an extended period of time just because you lose that access to your windshield wiper. Plus, after a moment, you can get some wear and tear on your hatch. But if you do want to move this into a bit of more of a portable position when you are not carrying bikes, what you can do is that you can move these arms down. To do so, you just loosen that knob on the end, bring them in towards the middle, and then just um, slide them down and then lock them back into place. Now let's take a look at how this is mounted to our Nissan Kicks. So we have a bunch of different points of contact so definitely more compared to a hitch mounted bike rack. If you can, I do recommend getting a hitch rack versus a trunk rack, but we'll take a look at how this fits. So notice how we have these pads. So these are sitting right above our windshield wipers on our glass. Those are for your top two legs and then your bottom two legs have your bike rack resting on your bumper. So this also uses three sets of hooks. So your top hook is gonna go through your spoiler support arm here on the top goes up over and into your hatch as does your side hook make sure you have it on the hatch itself and not on your taillight then you have your lower hook that goes right underneath the door so with this installed here are some tips and tricks just to make sure that you cause minimal damage to your vehicle first is before you install this please make sure to wipe everything down that way you don't have any dirt or debris underneath those legs and between your glass. So if you have that clean, you can then put the pads on. Also with your trunk rack mounted, you cannot use your windshield wiper and you cannot open your hatch. 
So if you do want to use those, please make sure to take off your trunk rack first. So my final thoughts about the Serif Bones EX here on our Nissan Kicks is I am a big fan of the design of the Serif Bones. I do like how it looks on our vehicle. Now as for our mounting point with it resting on the bumper, I think it does provide a good stable surface compared to other trunk racks on other vehicles that have to rest on the door itself. So this is a pretty good fit. Now with a Nissan Kicks, sometimes if you, even if you do get a hitch rack, if you do have a class one hitch, you are only able to carry a maximum of two bikes. So this is a great way to carry around three here on our vehicle. So that was a look here at our Saris Bones EX3 trunk mounted bike rack on our 2018 Nissan Kicks. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we can see here the up and down action, and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Now lastly, once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. 